Hi guys, I'm gonna go over daily homework page number 121 now. So I've already have my name and today's date, April 28th, and my signature on it. So let's look at this uh, subtraction question. So my first question here, 8,462 minus 2,990. I'm just gonna use the stacking method and do, it looks like I'm gonna have a little bit of uh, borrowing to do. So 8,462 and I'm gonna subtract 2,990. So. Before I start, I actually am gonna take a quick look and just make an estimate. So I know that 8,000 minus 2,000 is 6,000. It looks like there's gonna be some borrowing down here. So it looks like it's gonna be below 6,000, probably above 5,000. Somewhere between 5,000 and 6,000 would be our answer. All right, I'm gonna move over to the ones place and two minus zero, that I know, it's, that's just two. It's a simple one. Now six minus nine, right? The six tens minus nine tens, that I can't do without borrowing. So I'm gonna borrow from the hundreds place here. I'm gonna take 100 from here. That's gonna leave 300 with, uh, in the hundreds place. And I'm gonna put that 100 over to the tens place. So now that's gonna be 160 here or 16 tens. So if I know 16 minus nine is seven, that means that this is 70 is what it actually means. Now I have 300 minus 900. Once again, I'm gonna to have to do some borrowing. So I'm gonna borrow from the thousands place. I'm gonna take a thousand from here, so that's gonna become 7,000. And I'm gonna move that thousand over to here to, to the hundreds place. Now that's 13 hundreds, 1,300 really. So 13 minus nine is four. So that's 400 in that place. Now 7,000 minus 2,000 is 5,000. So 5,472. Ah, it was between 5,000 and 6,000. That's what I thought. Uh, so 5,472. Now, 64 times 10. Remember when we've been dealing with multiplying by 10? If we just look at 64 times one, that's 64. So 64 times 10 would be 64 with a zero on the end, 640. Uh, I want to know the place value of the five in 22,358. Well, the, fifth, the five, if I put a one above it and a, and a zero above all the numbers to the right, you'll see that that is a 10. That must mean this is in the tens place. This question is similar to yesterday's math. It says, what fraction of this shape is shaded? So you can see that there are two parts that are shaded in out of the total number of parts, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm right with that, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yes. So two ninths of the shape is shaded in. If I wanted to show that with the horizontal fraction line, it would look like that. Last one is a word problem. It says, Conrad wants to build a house out of Lego. He has 148 Lego blocks. If each wall of the house needs 30 blocks, there are four walls in, in this house, and the roof needs 20 blocks, will he have enough blocks? So my first step would be to figure out how many blo blocks he needs uh, for just the walls. So he needs 30 blocks for each wall. That's 30 times four. Right. So I know three times four is 12. So 30 times four would be 120. Then he needs 20 blocks for the roof, so 120 plus 20 equals 140. Now, it says he has 148 blocks and he needs 140 to make the house. So, yes, he has enough blocks to build his house. Okay, guys, uh, make sure that you do your Lexia practice 10 to 20 minutes and write down what you read and what you learned today. Thanks guys, have a good rest of your day.